Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm making a handmade card from start to finish. And my final card ended up being four by seven. So this is a, a long card. I'm using some stamps and lots of Copic markers. Here I build a little scene out of some digital stamps. The fence in the background and the two little girls, I purchased those digital stamps from Make It Crafty. I'll be sure to link those down in the description box. Super cute. And the little dog and turtle here that I'm showing you actually are rubber stamps. I got them from, I believe, Inky Antics. And being that I don't have a lot of rubber stamps, one day I just sat down and stamped them all out on cardstock, scanned them into my computer, and specifically I keep them in my Silhouette Cameo, and this way I can make scenes out of them because that dog is actually quite a little bit larger, so I scaled it down to fit the scene. I also cut out masks for all those stamps. I used cardstock, cut them out from my Silhouette Cameo, and on the back of them I'm using the Tombow Multi-Liquid Glue. You just put a little bit of glue and then rub it around with your finger, set it aside, and if you let it dry like that slightly, it becomes repositionable. So here for this large fence, I did that as well. I rubbed the glue on the back. I did let it sit for a minute, but I also stuck it down on another piece of cardstock because I really wanted to take a lot of that tacked off. I didn't want it to be too sticky for me. And in the end, it worked out perfectly. So I placed all my masks down. I'm going to use some 3M post-it tape and I'm going to put a line down to mark off my grass area and my sky area. And for those, I'm gonna do a little bit ink blending for a base. For the grass, I'm using an ink blending tool along with some olive and parrot from Altenew. And then for the sky, I'll be using a little bit of pastel blue. And then that was a little too light, so I pulled in some cornflower blue. So I'm doing this very lightly. It's kind of hard to tell because I did have to speed this video up, but I'm wiping most of it off on another piece of cardstock there, just so when I take it to my image, it's, it's pretty light. And again, this is just giving me a base for my card because in the end, I knew all along that I was going to add detail and dimension with it with my Copic markers. So I just wanted to give myself a little bit of a base and then fill it back in with my Copics to give it more um, shadows and dimension. So I'm going to move my mask down to start my skyline. And also, as I'm coloring with my Copics, when I come to that part later in the card, I realize my sky came down a little bit too far or Rather, my grass came down a little bit too far. So as I'm filling it in, I decided to raise the grass a little bit higher. It made a little bit more sense with the images. So I just simply do that with my Copic markers. It was, it was very simple to do. So this cornflower is super pretty. Again, it, this is quite a bit darker than that pastel blue. So I wipe most of it off on a scrap piece of paper or right there in the middle of my mask before taking it to my card. I also wanted to add some clouds in. So I'm gonna pull out a stencil that I made again using my Silhouette Cameo. I just cut that out from some transparency paper and I'm lightly going over that to give a few little clouds in the background. I knew in the beginning of making this that I was going to be making this into a, a longer card and I knew it was gonna be approximately a four by seven. So I wanted to start out with a little bit larger image, but that's why you'll see me not worry about bringing the clouds all the way to the top of the paper or the grass all the way to the bottom, because I knew I was going to be cutting most of that off. So here I'm using a Cricut spatula to help me remove my mask, and it does leave some sticky residue a little bit. Very easily comes off. Just use a glue eraser and it'll come right off. I've used lots of Copic markers to color these images in, and I'll be sure to list all the ones that I used up in the top left-hand corner for reference. And being that this video is a longer video, I did cut out anything that was redundant, like the um, coloring of the, the face. I didn't show the second girl's little face because I colored it the exact same way as the first using the exact same colors. So anything that was gonna be a little monotonous, I went ahead and cut out of the video. 
Um, I do hope you enjoy. It is a longer video, so I hope you stay tuned for it. Enjoy the process. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And like I said, I will be sure to link down the um, images that I purchased down in the description box for all of these little characters. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I hope you enjoy.